What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas and this is Sennheiser's new AVX system. This has literally just been released uh, a couple weeks ago. They were kind enough to send this out to me for review. Uh, with that, this is the EW100 series microphone uh, successor. So you have uh, a receiver and a transmitter and a microphone in this specific kit. And in this specific kit, I got the ME2. Um, let's go ahead and get into the box. But before we do that, if you're interested in a comparison of the physicalities of this between the EW112 system, I'm going to link you to a video that Geeky Nerd Dad did, which was fantastically done. As we get into the box, the AVX system, as, as it's seen here, starts around $900, so it's not cheap. So you can get the MD42 microphone, which is a handheld microphone, in addition to adding the MKE2 lavalier microphone. So that's a weatherproof option of a lavalier microphone with this system. If you're interested in pricing? and availability it'll be linked in the description below as we get into the box you can see Sennheiser is highly interested in feedback and with uh, that you can win an MKE 600 shotgun microphone so another option for video journalists on this side you got the XLR to 1 8 inch adapter then you get the ME2 lavalier microphone with a plastic clip then you get a Sennheiser wall charger the NT5-10 which is used for recharging the system also in the box, you get a micro USB to USB cable to go along with the wall charger Sennheiser provides you. Then you get a cold shoe uh, belt clip plus mount. So it's a two in one device. So if you need to clip it to your clothing or, or connect it to your system. Then you get the EKP receiver, which is XLR and very well constructed. It looks freaking awesome. Usually we start with documentation, but at this point we've, we're kind of going systematically through the box, but here's everything you need to know about the AVX system. Then you get a carrying case, which is very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, and it looks like I missed uh, the windscreen, which is comically big, because imagine this pinned to you, it, it's huge. <laughs> I mean, there's smaller windscreens out there and I would definitely go aftermarket with that. And finally, the second most important part, the wireless transmitter. The way the AVX system works is that the SK body transmitter passes digital audio to the EKP receiver at a rate of 24 bit, 48 Hertz in addition to it being 256 bit encrypted by AES standards. Now the EKP receiver features 320 degrees of rotational freedom in addition to weighing about three ounces. So it's not gonna add a whole lot of weight to your rig. And the same goes for the SK body transmitter. It weighs about three ounces, features a display which has signal strength and battery. The unique thing about the battery though is that it shows it in how much time is remaining rather than in bars. It has an eighth inch locking connector so you don't have to worry about your ME2 or your lava microphone coming undone. Features a mute switch in addition to a pairing LED. Each of these modules have rechargeable battery systems. The EKP has a 420 milliamp hour battery that Sennheiser is claiming that will last you around four to five hours. The unique thing about this, however, is that you can plug it into an AC adapter um, and run indefinitely or plug it into a battery pack and run for a longer period of time. If you plug this into uh, something that provides 48 volt phantom power, it will power off that. This actually looks for it automatically and will work with you on conserving battery life. So if a 48 volt phantom power is being supplied to this receiver, it will power on and when it's not, it will power off automatically. The SK body transmitter comes with a 2030 milliamp hour battery and Sennheiser is claiming it will get you around 11 hours of record time. The AVX system by Sennheiser is literally a plug and play option. You don't need to worry about frequency settings wherever you are in the world because it's passing a digital audio signal and they're communicating in both directions. In addition to that, you don't have to worry about the setting the gain controls because it does it within the system itself. So if you're moving from a quiet area to a loud area, it's gonna adjust the gains. Now, one tip that I have for you is that you would set the, the gain higher on this if you're going directly into a DSLR and lower the settings on your camera because traditionally camera preamps are really terrible and they don't work well for adjustment and this will do it for you. But if you're recording into a recorder, for example, I would lower this, uh, the AF signal because you can do the AF out by adjusting it. I would set that to around, I would set the levels here for the DSLR and probably do two or even one if I'm going into a recorder because a recorder has stronger preamps and has better audio processing. Now getting into the brass tacks of this system, how far or what's the range? 
It's around 30 meters or about 33 yards. So let's go ahead and get into testing the AVX system. All right, so here's the exciting part about the Sennheiser AVX system. It goes way further than what it's stated on the box. It goes way beyond 33 yards. And I'll give you a demonstration right now. Uh, here I'm on a football field, so it's graduated in yards. Right now I'm standing at the zero yard line at one of the goal posts. So I'm gonna go to each increment in, 20, in yards of 25 and then turn around and give you guys an audio sample. So let's get started. Here I'm roughly 25 yards away from the receiver. Uh, you be the judge of how the audio quality is being produced here. Um, I can tell that it sounds really, really great. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next increment, which is 50 yards. Okay, I'm roughly at 50 yards away from the receiver. Um, this is beyond the range which is communicated on Sennheiser's website as far as specifications, but you can hear the quality that is being produced in audio here. It's absolutely fantastic. Let's go ahead and go to the next increment, which is 75 yards. All right, so here you can see we're pushing the limits of the AVX system because we're roughly at 75 yards away from the receiver but you can hear the audio quality is absolutely fantastic. Let's go ahead and step it on out to 100 yards. All right, we are 100 yards away from the receiver. The AVX system is a beast. It's handling audio and it's throwing it 100 yards away from me absolutely perfectly. It sounds fantastic. As you can hear, there's wind blowing on the microphone right now, but it's, it's normalizing it and making it sound usable. It's absolutely usable. Let's go ahead and get a little more extreme and step it out even further. I'm gonna go beyond the goalpost and give you guys an audio example. Okay, now this is absolutely insane. I am 150 yards away from the receiver. I don't know if you can see me. I'm by the tree over here. I'll wave my arms. I'll point it out with an annotation with a huge arrow above my head. But I'm gonna keep pushing this system to see how awesome it is because I am absolutely floored by the performance of the AVX system. Here I'm roughly 200 yards away from the receiver. The AVX system is passing usable audio still. You may be experiencing a little bit of drops and whatnot, but it's still usable audio. Well, that about concludes my test. As you can see, I'm roughly 33 yards away from my receiver. This is what Sennheiser is communicating as its max range. Well, as you've seen in the test, that's absolutely not true. I was roughly 200 yards away from the receiver and still gathering usable audio. That's freaking crazy. Wow, I can't believe they're freaking communicating this on the spec sheet as that being the limit. That's not the case. As you can hear, this is going directly into the GH4, nothing more. No extenders, no nothing. Well, that about does it for me in this video. If you liked it, feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Let me know in the comment section down below what it is that I can do to improve. In addition to that, feel free to check out my channel and some of the past works that I've done. If you haven't done so, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Take care.